Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss 2.13 and 2.14. Figure 2.11 shows the xt plot of one-dimensional motion of the particle. Is it correct to say from the graph that the particles move? in straight line for t is less than 0 and on a particle travels parabolic path for t is more than 0. If not, suggest a suitable physical context for this graph. Here, first of all, when time t is less than 0, when time t is less than 0, this part is. Here position value is also 0. When time t is less than 0, position also 0. That means it can't represent the particle move in straight line. So, we can write, answer is no, it is wrong to say that the particle moves in a straight line for t is less than 0 and if t is more than 0 the xt graph is like this exponential so it is also not shows parabolic path and on a parabolic path for t is greater than 0 so it is also not possible Because xt graph is position time graph does not represent the trajectory. of a moving particle. So, when time t is less than 0, it can't be straight line. When time t is more than 0, it can't be parabolic. Okay. And one more sub question is asked. If not, suggest a suitable physical context. We need to give one example. For which Example, this can be possible means for freely falling body, we can say for freely falling body, we can take like this and time t is equal to 0 and less than 0, position is 0. As time increases, the displacement or position x is equal to ut plus of at square. Initial velocity is 0 and uh, we can write it as x minus x naught. x minus x naught is equal to ut plus of at square. So, from this x 
minus 0 is equal to simply half a t square from this x is proportional to t square where half and a are constants so x is proportional to t square if x is proportional to t square the graph will be like this the example is for freely falling body it can be possible freely falling body from certain height coming to one more sub question motion in a straight line exercises 2.14 a police van moving on a highway with a speed of 30 kilometers per hour fires a bullet at thief's car speeding away in the same direction with a speed of 192 kilometers per hour if the muzzle speed of the bullet is 150 meters per second, with what speed does the bullet hit the thief's car? Here we can imagine the situation like this. So this is thief's car, sorry, police car. And from here, the bullet is released. It is moving forward. And here, there is thief's car. It is also moving forward in direction. Both are moving in the same direction. Now, as per the given data, we have speed of police van i am writing v sub x p speed of police van that is 30 kilometers per hour i am writing it is in terms of meters per second 25 by 3 meters per second to convert kilometers per hour to meter per second 1 kilometer per hour is 5 by 18 meters per second. Otherwise, you can write 30 into 1000 divided by 3600. You can simplify. And speed of the bullet, V of the bullet is equal to 150 meters per second. Now we can write actually for the bullet additionally the police van also giving some velocity so therefore the relative velocity becomes relative speed of bullet with the respect to the ground is equal to velocity of the bullet plus velocity of the police van. Here velocity and speed both are same. Why means we are discussing about only straight line motion, only the same direction. So no need to get the confusion. Here velocity, speed both will be same. Coming to this value we have 150 plus 25 divided by 3 that is equal to 475 by 3 meter per second. Now while coming to speed of thief's car, I am writing V sub x t that is equal to 192 kilometers per hour that can be written as 
160 by 3 meters per second. Now, if you observe the speed of thief's car and the relative speed of bullet, both are same in direction, then the relative speed becomes the relative speed of bullet with respect to thief's car. We can write VB plus VP minus of VT. That is equal to VB plus VP previous we got it. That is 475 by 3 minus speed of thief score is 160 divided by 3. If we simplify, we will get 105 meters per second. So, the relative speed of bullet with respect to thief score will be 105 meters per second. And here what he asked, with what speed does the bullet hit the thief's car. That means with 105 meters per second. We can write therefore the speed of the bullet with which it hits the thief's car is equal to 105 meters per second. So, this is slightly relative motion in one dimensions concept based on. Thank you.